I would like to welcome parents, community members, staff, and most importantly, the STEM School Highlands Ranch Class of 2021. You made it! <laughs> now I would like to welcome Carlos Martinez to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, thank you. Now please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Now, I am very pleased to welcome our executive director, Dr. Penny Euchre. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates. You sustained focus, perseverance, and determination. These traits will always be here for you. I would like you to take a moment, all of us, to calm the busyness and the stress of today. Take a few deep breaths and really lean into this perfect Colorado day where we were able to celebrate together our amazing graduates. This is a momentous day. Graduates, please be seated. STEM faculty and staff, I'd like for you to st remain standing Sorry. <laughs> I want to thank you for your years of dedica dedication to our graduates. You are all amazing in your support to grow these fabulous young adults. Thank you. You can, you can have a seat now if you need. To our family members, mentors, and special friends, please stand. You have given unconditional love and support and nurtured every grad to be strong and fearless. We are so deeply appreciative of how you have partnered with us to be here today to celebrate your amazing children. Thank you. <laughs> to our STEM board members, Douglas County board member, and any representatives of the district, please stand. Thank you for your dedication and partnership that we are able to have this in-person graduation and celebrate this beautiful day. And finally, thank you. thank you to our speakers. Each of you will be inspiring to us to make the world a better place for all of us. And a special thanks to Karen Adam. Without you, today would not have happened. Thank you, Karen Adam. I think she deserves a standing. <laughs> Next up, we have Ms. Liz Dugan. So 
as you can see, many of our students have earned many academic awards. Graduates, please stand as you hear your awards announced. Our STEM Character Award is represented by blue, gold, and white cords. Our department awards are represented by green cords. Our distinguished student athletes are wearing maroon cords. Art Honor Society, rainbow cord. English Honor Society, Blue and Yellow Cord. French Honor Society, Red, White, and Blue Cord. Math Honor Society, Red and Yellow. <laughs> National Honor Society, Gold Cord. <laughs> Spanish Honor Society, Red and Gold Cord. Thespian Honor Society, Blue Cord. Students have, who have earned honors are wearing a white sash. <laughs> Our STEM scholars are wearing a medallion. And finally, our valedictorians and salutatorian are wearing gold sashes. Congratulations to all of you, and now I would like to introduce our salutatorian Grant Gooding and our valedictorians Kyle Paris and Jaden Toy. Grant, please come up first. Howdy. Okay, so we as people have an obligation to both find an aim in our lives and fulfill it. During the traversal of life, we may become presented with obstructions to our goals. We are given two options, to quit or to preserve. Ludwig von Beethoven, considered the greatest musician to ever live, endured significant hardships throughout his entire life, but he still managed to persist. He said in his Halgenenstadt Testament in 1802, but to think that for six years now, I've been hopelessly afflicted, made worse by senseless physicians, from year to year, deceived by hopes of improvement, finally compelled to face the prospect of a lasting malady. It was only my art that held me back. It felt to me impro impossible to leave this world until I felt I had brought forth all that was within me. Beethoven discovered his inevitable deafness when he was only 30 years old, before his career had even really taken off. He went to numerous doctors in secret and tried to find out what was going on, only to find that losing his hearing was completely out of his control. He wrote his Heilgenenstadt Testament as a suicide note to his brothers. However, he never sent it. It wasn't until years after Beethoven actually died that people discover his troubling psyche. He found the strength to pull himself together, to pull himself together and write his third symphony, Eroica, the piece that would officially bring him his fame. From then on, he would only continue to write masterpieces. He premiered his Ninth Symphony in 1824, arguably the greatest piece of music ever written, but it was too late. His deafness had fully consumed him. When the symphony had reached its finale, someone had to turn him around for him to see the entire audience giving a standing ovation. Beethoven died on March 26, 1827. On March 29th, at the Währing Cemetery in Vienna, between 10,000 and 30,000 people arrived to honor him for his life's achievements. Although Beethoven endured a life of hardship and pain, uh, <laughs> Although Beethoven endured a life of hardship and pain, his life produced some of the greatest music of all time. In the end, he recognized that he would, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Although, in the end, he recognized that although he wanted to forfeit everything, his life had something great in store. As he said, and it was only my art that held me back. It seemed to me impossible to leave the world until I brought forth all that was within me. 
We all have ends to achieve and things to do in our lives. As people, it is our duty to persist and achieve the goals that we set out to do. We find ourselves today in a transition era, one where we are reflecting on our current achievements and planning our future ones. Similar to Beethoven, we all have the knowledge and strength to achieve our future goals. Thank you. And just a shout out to my boys, Andrew and Mitch, and my Vasa crew watching. <laughs> Thank you. And this is Kyle. Teachers, administrators, parents, siblings, relatives, and friends, welcome. It's an honor for me to be standing in front of you celebrating the culmination of the past four years. Over our time in high school, we've learned so many things. Unfortunately, the only one that I remember is that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But high school was so much more than the exams we studied for so that we could forget them the next week. It was the experiences, relationships, opportunities, and procrastination habits that'll stay with us for the rest of our lives. Our high school experience was anything but traditional. We had all seen high school in the movies, and coming in freshman year, we all thought, yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna party, cheer at sports games, go to amazing school dances. So that, that didn't exactly happen, but I can already see some of you looking puzzled, like, sports? Did, did he mean eSports? And those of you that went to STEM school dances, like, okay, but does watching the cafeteria windows Condon State really count as a school dance? And to answer your question, no, it definitely doesn't. But we didn't go to STEM to be traditional. Some of us came because of STEM's amazing academic opportunities. Some of us came for teachers like Mr. Shell, who's willing to help students build relationships while building robots. Others came because we felt it was the right school where we could really fit in. For me, I came because it meant I could just play Minecraft and earn a good grade on my project. <laughs> Whatever your reason for coming here, I believe we've created a community unlike any other. But as we've all experienced, the journey hasn't been easy. Who knew that just one normal year would be too much to ask for? Freshman year was new, teachers were new, classes started counting for college, and we needed to learn the ins and outs of high school. Sophomore year, we faced tragedy unfit for anyone in this world, and we still feel that pain. Junior year gave hope for some normalcy, but it too took away something special as we finished the year separated from our friends. By senior year, the world as we knew it had completely changed. We even began to innovate new cutting edge methods for sleeping in Zoom classes. <laughs> this, these last four years have been nothing like we could have imagined. We faced challenges at every turn through high school. However, it is not these challenges define us, but what does define us is the way we act when faced with adversity. We show the world that we're stronger together and as a unified class, more closely bonded than any before it. So we may not have had normal, easy, or even healthy amounts of sleep, but our problems may have been a game of whack-a-mole. I fix one and the next one pops up. But I believe our experiences have made us the strongest class to ever graduate STEM, if not all high schools in the world. And no, I'm not talking about physical strength. Have you guys seen our gym? I didn't think so. In the end, high school has made me certain of only two things. The first is that life is gonna be hard, it's gonna be unpredictable, and it's gonna continue to test us. But the second is that no other students in the world are gonna be better equipped to deal with life than those fellow students sitting next to you. So thank your parents, thank your siblings, thank your friends, but most importantly, thank yourselves. We did it. The next man that's gonna be speaking is by far the best student I know and also my best friend. He needs no introduction, but it's Jaden Toy. Thank you for that very colorful introduction, Kyle. I appreciate it. Um, now, before I start saying anything, I would like to take a few seconds of silence for Kendra Castillo, whose heroic actions saved many lives, including some of my good friends, on May 7th, 2019. We will never forget you, Kendrick.
Thank you. Now, if you told me three years ago, wow, that I would be standing up here in front of you all giving a speech as the co-valedictorian of our class with one of my good pals, I'd tell you that you were absolutely crazy. The, the thought of standing up here and giving a speech was always a really strange, foreign idea in my brain. Even now, it hasn't quite set in, seeing all of us here at graduation from this view with this microphone right in front of my face. So hopefully, I don't pass out due to the heart in my chest beating at a thousand times per second. I'd like to start out with the obvious. Thanks to everyone that got not just me, but all of us to the finish line. I think these will apply to most of us in the senior class. Thanks to my parents, mom and dad, for the endless support, commuting, and good food. Also, I think it's important to note that they must have done something right, seeing as they've raised three teenage boys and uh, somehow all of them graduated valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> also, I didn't write this in my script here, but on the way here, my mom was like, you know what? I bet it was all that homemade baby food I made when you were younger. So uh, thanks to my friends, who I hope to keep in touch with for a very, very long time after this day. Thanks to my siblings, Elliot and Wesley, whose playful berating will probably never end for the rest of my life. Thanks to most of my teachers and professors, whose guidance and instruction informed many impactful decisions during these past four years. I know all of us will love this next one. Thanks to College Board for absolutely frickin' nothing but ridiculous standardized tests. for ridiculous standardized tests and shameless cash grabs under the promise of college credit in the form of AP exams. <laughs> Thanks to the amazing opportunities that this school has given me, from taking classes I never thought I would, to the fantastic extracurriculars that I've been a part of. Thanks to our counselors, whose inboxes we all bombarded during application season, but whose emails never went more than two business days unanswered. But most of all, we should thank ourselves. We have been through four years of a constant roller coaster, but we finally made it through to the end of the ride, and we can finally take off that harness and go buy our overpriced photo from the ride cam. Oh my goodness. Similar to a roller coaster, these past four years have been kind of a blur in my brain. Simply a mishmash of thoughts and events that seem to blend together and create some sort of thing that is usually called the high school experience. However, there are, free, there are a few brief moments of lucidity that come to mind when I think about the high school experience. Sophomore year state conference, when I took a brand new bag of cough drops to the hotel and finished it by closing ceremony. Seriously. Junior year, being at Science Olympiad and overhearing a colorful conversation about which political figures from history would make the best couple. Seriously. <laughs> Freshman year gov class, joking that I could probably cook an egg on my laptop charger and threatening to bring a frying pan and egg next period. Seriously. Senior year, hopping in and out of Discord calls, playing a little too many video games, but it was all a good time. And actually, just a little bit ago at prom, I may or may not have been the person that requested a three-letter Cardi B song. These are the few of the many memories I can actually think of, and I, I hope that as you listen to them, you can remember some of your own colorful memories from the past four years. Now, I think I'm running out of time at this point, but to be honest, there's not much left to say. Thanks everyone for the memories and the good times. Let's promise to keep doing cool stuff. Cheers. And now, Ms. Dugan will be returning back to the stage. I'm sorry. Dim is now honored to introduce our first keynote speaker, Dr. Janine Davidson, the president of Metropolitan State University, Colorado's third largest university with 19,000 students. Prior to leading M MSU, she served as the 32nd Undersecretary of the United States Navy. Dr. Davidson is a national thought leader in higher education, public service, U.S. foreign policy, and national security. Dr. Davidson served as an officer in the U.S. Air Force and was the first woman to fly the tactical C-130. 
She was an aviation instructor at the U.S. Air Force Academy. She is a scholar of free speech in America and a champion of preparing students for career readiness. We are so honored to welcome Dr. Davidson. Thank you, thank you for that introduction and thank you for having me here today. STEM school graduates, family members, teachers and staff, I am so honored to join you here today in celebrating the tremendous accomplishments of the amazing students and funny too. My name is Janine Davidson and I am the president of Metropolitan State University of Denver. And as university president, I know how much work it takes to make it to this moment, to earn a diploma or a degree. I know how important education is and how it can change lives and entire families. I also know how much support it takes, that's you all up there, to help a student reach this milestone. So I wanna give a shout out to all the educators who adapted over the past year to make sure that these students could still receive the high quality education that the STEM school offers. I also wanna give a big thank you to those personal support systems here today, the parents, the siblings, the mentors, whomever helped these graduates along the way as they endured one of the toughest school years in their lives and completed their journey to the diploma in such uncertain times. That's for you to applause to your family members. <laughs> so graduates, I wanna to talk to you today about perseverance. You have learned a lot to graduate from high school, but maybe the most important lesson I know you have all learned is from the COVID-19 pandemic is how to persevere the ability to handle whatever life throws at you, like remote learning or skipping some of the social staples of your senior year, these will actually take you a long way in life. I find it very appropriate that NASA named its Mars 2020 rover the Perseverance, since the rover had to travel about seven months through darkness before landing at its destination. I'm sure that's how the past year might have felt for some of you at times. And it's my understanding that the STEM school has some connections to the Perseverance rover, which carried the name Kendrick Castillo to Mars. I know that Kendrick's bravery and spirit persevere at the school and in this community. I also learned that one young woman graduating today helped with the rover's heat shield through an internship with Lockheed Martin, which is totally cool. Emma's, whoever that is, you can raise your hand. There you are. <laughs> Congratulations. MSU Denver has an alum also who worked on the equipment for the Mars rover. Megan's Orman is a manufacturing engineer at Sierra Nevada who helped build the sky crane that lowered the rover onto Mars. Amazingly, Megan's began her education at MSU Denver as an art major, but she had to take an elective science class and picked Intro to Space, which totally changed her life. She changed her major, she got involved in a bunch of student organizations, and while well, the rest is history. So it just goes to show that even if you have absolutely no idea what you want to do when you leave here, when you grow up, or if you have had an idea and it doesn't work out, if you persevere, you can do something amazing. Megan's is also a great example of women representing an increasing percentage of the STEM professional workforce. According to the, that's right. <laughs> According to the U.S. Census, 8% of STEM workers in 1970 were women, but in 2020 it was 27%, and more women are coming. MSU Denver had its commencement ceremony last week, and 47% of our graduates in the STEM fields were women. We had female graduates in aviation, aerospace, biochemistry, cybersecurity, engineering, physics, health professions, and many more. This is heartening news to me personally because my, my own story of perseverance includes coming up as a woman in a male-dominated field. I know what it's like to be told you can't do something that you want to do. 
When I was your age, I actually wanted to join the U.S. Navy like my dad. I wanted to be a Navy fighter pilot. But when I interviewed for the Navy ROTC scholarship, I was told they don't let girls fly fighter planes. That's how old I am. And you know what I said? Uh, and I don't know how much your parents will appreciate this, but I told the recruiter, well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Don't you think that's going to change? <laughs> well, that response did not get me the scholarship, kids. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, I, I think it's taken, it away, it, there's a big takeaway from this story though, because instead of joining the Navy, I applied and received an Air Force ROTC scholarship. So that pay, it paved the way for my college, it paid for college, and it allowed me to become a cargo pilot. So I was never a fighter pilot, but one of my students at the Air Force Academy was the first woman Thunderbird pilot. And she, yeah, she lives in Colorado now. You should have her speak at STEM school. Eventually, I did become the first woman to fly the tactical C-130, which is a cargo plane in the Air Force. And I flew combat support and humanitarian missions all over the world. And I served as a flight instructor at the Air Force Academy, helping that next generation of pilots go through doors that I was able to help open. In 2015, after a long career in the military and academia and public service, I was appointed by then President Barack Obama to serve as the Undersecretary of the Navy, which is like the second highest ranking civilian job. Three decades after being told I was, <laughs> thank you. So three decades after I was told that I wasn't qualified because of my gender, I got picked by the President of the United States to oversee the whole branch of the Navy. So, because I'm your graduation speaker, I've got to have a couple lessons in case they aren't obvious. So here are a few lessons that I hope you'll actually take away from this moment. Number one, instead of taking no for an answer, find another route. Don't give up on your dreams at that first obstacle, but don't necessarily go head first into the obstacle either. I didn't become a Navy pilot, but I, didn't become, but I did become an Air Force pilot and was eventually selected to oversee the Navy. Number two, Find people that believe in you and will support you along the way. No one here today made it to graduation entirely on their own. You have teachers and family members and friends who saw your potential and helped you succeed. I had an ROTC mentor who really pushed me to become a pilot. And I did not realize until years later that he actually caught a lot of grief from his colleagues for supporting me and other aspiring female pilots at the time. So don't take those people in your life for granted and try to give back to those who come after you. Number three, whatever you do, persevere. After the last year, you don't need me to tell you that when your plans change, you need to pivot. And life won't always work out the way we want it to. In MSU Denver's graduating class last week, our youngest graduate was just 19 years old. So while our oldest graduate was 68 years old, and you know what? Yeah, they're both college graduates now. They both achieved something great, and we celebrated both of them accordingly. So no matter what ups and downs you experienced in your high school career, you made it today. So wherever your path takes you from this day forward, do it with your head held high and be extraordinary. You are a STEM school graduate now, and no one can take that away from you. So thank you for letting me celebrate with you on this special, beautiful Colorado day, and congratulations to the class of 2021. STEM is now honored to introduce our second keynote speaker, Dr. Carletta Stewart, a champion of women in STEM through her Lady Trailblazer Leadership Institute. Dr. Stewart is a combat veteran serving two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. She retired from the U.S. Army as a Sergeant Major. Her commitment to serve remains and her mission of, is empowering the next generation. Her strong leadership background combined with her focus on increasing women in STEM leadership led to the founding of her Lady Trailblazer Leadership Academy. 
STEM girls have been selected in her program that will develop their leadership skills and confidence. Her motto is, don't leave anything unfinished. We are so honored to welcome Dr. Stewart. I'm going to wear my glasses, so don't take any pictures of me. Thank you. I would like to begin by saying congratulations to STEM School Highlands Ranch Class of 2021 for doing the work and achieving a major milestone. Give yourself a round of applause. You all should be immensely proud. Class of 2021, you are the generation of change, a generation that can reconcile differences, a generation that can bridge the gap. Today, I challenge you all to declare your win. First, let me share a little secret. Quitting is easy. Winning, on the other hand, takes courage, commitment, discipline, and perseverance. From where you are today and to what you will become, begin to extend your reach, reach new heights, and do the unimaginable. Get out of the mindset of doing what is ordinary and go out and become the extraordinary by doing the work outside the four walls you have grown accustomed to. You become who you are before you become who you are. Be willing to stretch and be uncomfortable. Look beyond what the eyes can see, reach far beyond what you have done, and do the unimaginable. Today's speech is titled, I Am Becoming. The best teacher is life, and unquestionably, life will happen, meaning difficult situations will arise and problem solving will have to occur. When the wind tries to deter your wind and life becomes filled with unanswered questions, stand in the midst of the wind. Do not be afraid to face the turbulence head on. Do not make a permanent decision over a temporary situation or mistake a temporary delay for your destiny. Face your fears head on. I am becoming. When faced with challenging situations, which will require adaptability, awareness, action, or reassurance, focus on the now rather than the what ifs. Choose the path less travel. I am becoming. When you attempt the second wind and there are no answers in sight, no clear direction, and you begin to feel time has gotten away from you, do not compare, quantify, nor qualify your journey or success to others. A setback is only a setup for the next opportunity. Stay the course. I am becoming. When it's time to fly and the wind takes shape beneath your wings, do not allow barriers, imaginary prisms, or the temporary feeling of fear to discourage you from your path. Winning takes courage, and winning is a choice. I am becoming. When it's time to soar and spread your wings and reach new heights, do great with the little things. Do not just try and quit. Figure it out, follow through, finish what you start. Do it and do it well. And do the unimaginable. Choose to win. I am becoming. As you explore, dream, and achieve the unimaginable and become extraordinary leaders, remember, leadership is the willingness to listen Learn from your mistakes and loosen the grip on learned behavior. What you say and what you do should align. Dream it, believe it, and become it. I am becoming. In closing, class of 2021, this is your time. You are the change. I want you to do the unimaginable. Create your own door. Create your own path. Create your own place at the table. Class of 2021, this is your declarative statement. Stand on your feet and repeat after me. I am here to win. Again, I am here to win. Now let's say it like you mean it. I am here to win. That sounds a little motivated. Let me say it a little more one more time. One more time. I am here to win. And lastly, do not accept no for an answer. Get in front of change, become the change, and begin to win. Again, congratulations, and go snatch your destiny. Susan Meek.
Roy Martinez, Dr. Euchre, and I hereby affirm that each candidate has met the requirements for graduation as determined by STEM School Highlands Ranch, the Douglas County School District, and the State of Colorado, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas. I hereby confirm the certification of the 2021 graduating class of STEM School Highlands Ranch. Congratulations. We will now prepare for each one of you to receive your diplomas. Families, your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Each graduate deserves to hear their name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers or any distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory cheers until all names have been called so that the next name can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. I would now like to invite Dr. Gabriella Letty and Cameron Ryan to read the names. Graduates, when your name is called, please come, please come forth to pick up your diploma. There you go. <laughs> Bryce Abel. Bryce is going to be attending the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs and majoring in chemistry. Farron. Adler. <laughs> Farron will be attending Oregon State University and majoring in zoology. Sawyer Allen. Sawyer will be attending the Colorado School of Mines and be majoring in applied mathematics and statistics. Caden Anderson. Caden will be attending Arapahoe Community College and majoring in mechanical engineering. William Ballard. Will, will will be attending Arapahoe Community College and is currently undeclared. Scott Bates. Scott will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and he is currently undeclared with his major. Callan Bendel. Callan will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and will be studying mechanical engineering. Joshua Bernstein. Josh will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and majoring in aerospace engineering. Grace Bielefeld. Grace will be attending St. Olaf College and is currently undeclared. Amelia Billings. Amelia will be taking a gap year. Caleb Binger. Caleb will be attending Colorado School of Mines and will be studying mechanical engineering. William Bobby will be attending Colorado School of Mines majoring in mechanical engineering. Carolina Bojanovsky. Yeah? Okay. Carol Carolina will be attending Chapman University and will be studying international business and global communications. Nicholas Borsov. Nicholas will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in finance. Mason Brady. Mason will be attending Fort Lewis College and is currently undeclared. Jillian Broom. Jillian will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and is currently undeclared with her major. Andrew Brunette. Andrew will be taking a gap year. Landon Carlisle. Landon will be attending the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, majoring in business administration. Aiden Carlo. Aiden will be taking a gap year to travel across the United States from coast to coast. <laughs> Noah Castaneda. Noah will be attending the University of Texas, majoring in computer science. Ethan Chambers. 
Ethan will be attending Arapahoe Community College, studying ASA, ASE Automotive Certification. Nathaniel Cho. Cho will be attending the University of California in San Diego, majoring in aerospace engineering. Elma Choi. Elma will be attending Lake Forest College, studying neuroscience. Aurora Coulter. Aurora will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in physics and engineering. Tyler Connolly. Tyler will be attending Texas Christian University, studying actuarial science. Zach Conrad. Zach will be attending Arapahoe Community College in the P-TECH program, majoring in mechatronics. Bryn Conway. Bryn will be studying at Loyola University, studying economics. Lauren Daigler. Lauren will be attending Colorado State University, majoring in biomedical science. Kenneth Danes. Kenneth will be at Arapahoe Community College, continuing with the P-TECH program in mechatronics. Asher De Crescenzo. Asher will be attending Brigham Young University in Idaho, majoring in physics. Jacob Randy DeLance. Jake will be taking a gap year. <laughs> Alphonsus Diodatus. Alphonsus will be attending Colorado State University, majoring, actually is undeclared in their major. Jacob Drennan. Jake will be attending Arapahoe Community College. Lillian Duarte. Lillian will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in computer science and psychology. Hannah Eckert. Hannah will be attending the University of Den Denver and will be studying biology. <laughs> Kaden Erling. Kaden will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in electrical engineering. Lily Falkenberg. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, wait. Okay, sorry. I'll do Lily Falkenberg. Lily will be attending Hofstra University and studying neuroscience. Sorry. Devin Fadden. Devin will be attending Santa Fe College, majoring in animation and digital design. Alex Farmer. Aaron Fast. Aaron will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in mechanical engineering. Evan Feger. Evan will be studying at Metropolitan State University of Denver in accounting. Ronan Finley. Ronan will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in computer science. Jacobo Fogoni Borsa. Jacobo will be studying at the Colorado State University in computer science. Nicholas Foss. Nick will be working at Informatica as their senior DevOps engineer. Evan Franco. Evan will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder studying integrated psychology. Physiology, sorry. David Frost. David will be attending the University of Colorado Denver and is currently undeclared with their major. Joanne Fuchs. Joe will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst Commonwealth Honors College and will be studying sustainable food and farming. Abigail Geiger. Abigail will be studying at Texas A&M University Galveston, majoring in mechanical engineering. Alexander Gentilucci. Alex will be studying at the University of Colorado Boulder, studying computer science. Sadie Gertz. Sadie will be attending the University of Hawaii at Manoa, majoring in marine biology. 
Tyson Gonzalez will be pursuing a real estate license. Grant Gooding. Grant will be attending the University of Denver majoring in economics and history. Noah Graber. Noah will be attending the University of Utah studying mechanical engineering. Cameron Green. Cameron will be attending the Community College of Denver majoring in database com computer information systems. Laura Grecian. Laura will be studying at the University of Montana and will be studying psychology. Skylar Grove. <laughs> Skylar will be attending Northern Arizona University majoring in ecology and evolutionary biology. Braden Hammond. Braden will be studying at California Polytechnic State University and will be studying civil engineering. Luke Harmston. Luke will be taking a gap year. John Harsh. John will, will be attending Arapaho Community College. Bryce Hawken. Bryce will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in computer science. Lorelai Haycock. Lorelai will be attending the University of Colorado Denver and will be pursuing a pre-nursing path. Ryan Hingen. Ryan will be attending Michigan State University majoring in physics. Cassidy Hickey. Cassidy will be attending Colorado Mesa University and will be studying ex exercise science. Samuel Hill. Sam will be attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in mechanical engineering. Nathan Hofer. Nathan will be attending Drake University and will be studying actuarial science. Brianna Hughes. Bree will be attending Metropolitan State University of Denver and majoring in nursing. Joshua Hollinger. Joshua will be attending Colorado School of Mines and will be studying mechanical engineering. Kevin Jayasunkar. Kevin will be attending the Colorado School of Mines majoring in computer science. Riley Johnson. Riley will be attending Oregon State University and will be majoring in biology. Nissa Jordan. Nissa will be attending the University of Colorado Denver, majoring in digital design. Malia, oh, I did it again. Owen Jocelyn. Owen will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology and will be studying computer security. Malia Juba. Malia will be attending Colorado State University Honors College and is currently undeclared with her major. Aiden Jervich. Aiden will be attending the City University of New York and will be studying information technology. Brendan Kerr. Brendan will be attending Regis University and majoring in film studies. Max Ketter. Max will be attending Colorado School of Mines and will be studying cybersecurity. David Ko. David will be attending Liberty University, majoring in politics and policy, Christian leadership, and ministries. Madeline Kelly. Maddie will be studying at Grand Canyon University, studying forensic science. Austin Kindred. 
Austin will be attending Colorado State University, majoring in business administration and real estate, or in real estate. Andy Kendrick. Andy will be studying at the University of Colorado Boulder and will be pursuing exploratory studies. Ethan Kishiyama. Ethan will be attending Texas A&M University, majoring in aerospace in the Navy ROTC program. Winter Klein. Winter will be taking a gap year. Julian Knight. Julian will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in mechanical engineering. Keenan Korn. Keenan will be at the University of Southern California Honors College studying political science. Quincy Kramer. Quincy will be studying at the University of Kansas, majoring in English. Daniel Crouchu. Daniel will be at the Colorado School of Mines, studying computer science. Ian Quinsley. Ian will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in mechanical engineering. Corbin Lamar. Corbin will be going to the DigiPen Institute of Technology, studying computer science and game design. Devin Layton. Devin will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in computer science. Samantha Lee. Sam will be attending University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, and will be studying cybersecurity. Mark Leiby. Mark will be attending Arapahoe Community College. Jaden Lewis. Jaden will be studying at Arapahoe Community College, majoring in animal science. Ashley Longfellow. Riley Lopez Kiever. Riley will be taking a gap year. Benjamin Lopo. Ben will be attending the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, majoring in computer science and cybersecurity. Caitlin Loptine. Caitlin will be attending the Savannah College of Art and Design and will be studying illustration. Akniet Maksat. Gotta get wrong. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Just keep going. <laughs> Sorry. AJ will be attending the University of California in LA, majoring in bioengineering. <laughs> Simon Magnuson. <laughs> Simon will be attending Arapaho Community College and will be continuing the P Tech program in mechatronics. Saria Malik. Saria will be attending the University of Colorado in Boulder, majoring in biological sciences. Nathan Marks. Nathan will be attending the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, and will be studying business in sports management. Jake Marlowe. Jake will be attending Colorado State University, majoring in zoology. Carlos Martinez. Carlos will be enlisting in the United States Marine Corps. Isabella Martinez. Bella will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in biomedical engineering. School bus! <laughs> Sean Mock. Malk, excuse me, I know I got it wrong. <laughs> Sean Malk. 
Sean will be attending the University of Southern California and will be majoring in biochemistry. Mason Maymere. Mason will be attending Arapahoe Community College, majoring in Biblical Studies. Connor McCauley. Yeah! Colorado, Connor will be attending the Colorado School of Mines and will be studying computer science. Cole McGuire. Cole will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and will be pursuing exploratory studies. <laughs> Connor Morse. Connor will be attending Arapahoe Community College and is currently undeclared in his major. Sienna Mushianisi. Sienna will be taking a gap year working for EF Tours. Jeremiah Nelson. Yay! Jeremiah will be attending Arapahoe Community College. Benjamin Pacheco. Ben will be attending Arapahoe Community College. Kyle Paris. Kyle will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and will be studying mechanical engineering. Joseph Parsons. Joseph will be attending the Rose Holman Institute of Technology and is currently undeclared with their major. Tanvi Patil. Tanvi will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and will be studying biological and chemical engineering. Reese Paulson. Reese will be attending the University of Colorado Denver, majoring in film studies. Kieran Persoff. Kieran will be attending Arapahoe Community College and will be studying game design and development. Maria Prosperi. Maria will be attending the University of Colorado in Denver, majoring in bioengineering. Matthew Puturel. Matthew will be attending University of Colorado Boulder and will be pursuing exploratory studies. Conrad Quam. Conrad will be attending the Colorado School of Mines, majoring in applied mathematics and statistics. Connor Railsback. Connor will be attending the Colorado School of Mines and will be pursuing a major in civil engineering. Lilia Ransom. Lilia will be attending Colorado State University, majoring in art and design. Henry Rowling. <laughs> Hank will be attending Iowa State University and will be studying engineering. Nicholas Sandon. Nick will be attending Grand Canyon University and majoring in biomedical engineering. Hayden Sapp. Hayden will be attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona and will be studying cyber intelligence and security. Brandon Schuster. Brandon will be studying at DePaul University, majoring in cybersecurity. Cool dude. Henry Schallenberger. <laughs> Henry will be, will be attending Arapahoe Community College and will be continuing with their P-TECH program in mechatronics. Ariana Shaw. Ari will be attending Metropolitan State University of Denver and is currently undeclared with their major. Logan Shrewsbury. Logan will be attending the University of Colorado Denver and will be studying the recording arts. Emma Slack. Emma will be attending Colorado State University majoring in mathematics. Brennan Smith. 
Brennan will be studying at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona and will be studying computer science. Joseph Sorensen. Joseph will be working as a software engineer at Frontier Airlines. Ali Soto. Ali will be attending University of Victoria and is currently undeclared. Marcus Sovich. Marcus will be attending Western Colorado University, majoring in graphic design. Connor Sparks. Connor will be attending the Colorado School of Mines and will be studying computer science. Audrey Springer. Audrey will be attending Arizona State University, majoring in criminal justice. Ashley Stafford. Ashley will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder and will be studying creative technology and design. Benjamin Stern. Ben will be attending the Colorado School of Mines and is currently undeclared with their major. Jack Stern. Jack will be attending Arapahoe Community College and will be continuing with their P-Tech program in mechatronics. Jack, <laughs> okay. Catherine Sturquill. <laughs> Catherine will be attending the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, working to be a physician's assistant. Amy Swindle. Amy will be attending Colorado Christian University and will be studying psychology and clinical counseling. Jaden Toy. Jaden will be attending Duke University, majoring in computer science and linguistics. Viet Tran. Viet will be attending Arapahoe Community College and will be studying the P-Tech program in mechatronics. Patrick Trainer. Patrick will be studying at the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in business administration. Evan Tryon. Evan will be attending the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs and majoring in psychology. Tyler Tryon. <laughs> Tyler will be attending the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, majoring in mechanical and space engineering. Joaquin Undurraget. Joaquin will be attending University of Colorado Boulder and will be studying environmental design. Joshua Valera. JV will be attending Arapahoe Community College and is currently undeclared with their major. Andrew Vargish. Andrew will be attending Colorado School of Mines and studying computer science. Anaya Vasquez. Anaya will be taking a gap year while working at King Supers. Uh, yeah, that changed. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Vaughn. Rebecca will be attending University of Colorado, Colorado Springs and studying geography and environmental studies. Jason Vega Ryan. Jason will be taking a gap year. Ariana Velez. Ari will be studying at Concordia University, studying international business. Alexander Watford. Alex will be attending the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, majoring in cybersecurity. Sophia Watts. 
Sophia will be studying at New York University, studying computer science and mathematics. Ian Wellborn. Ian will be enlisting in the United States Air Force. Parker Whipple. Parker will be pursuing their music career. On behalf of Mr. Ryan, myself, and the entire staff, we wanted to say a con proud congratulations to this very special class of students. We love you, we care for you, you are awesome. It's now my honor to introduce your student body secretary, Sean Mauck. All right, I'll take off the sunglasses for this. Got to be a little formal. Perfect. Sorry, one moment. Good afternoon, STEM seniors, or rather, the class of 21. On behalf of our student body president, Rebecca Vaughn, whose leadership will be a hard act to follow, and the entire student body, we congratulate all the seniors who endured the hard work, challenges, and commitment during these most unique and unknown times. So if we can just get one more round of applause, a final round for these guys. Thank you again. When I was told I was, one sec, let's fix this mic. There we go, much better. When I was told I would be able to give this speech, in my head I thought, oh, I'll get it done in the next couple days so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Nope. I procrastinated. So John, wherever you are, if you're watching this, I strongly suggest not to do that. It took a, probably two all-nighters, but it's worth it. Today is the day. Today marks the ending and the certification of our high school education. Throughout our high school experience, we have endured the most challenges for any class. Yet, here we are at the end of our high school years. We did it. We did it. When I was younger, I will admit, I did not have many friends. I was a nerd and often the one to be picked last for kickball games during recess, even though I personally thought I was a good kicker. In reality, I only had a couple people that have stuck with me since the beginning, my parents and my friends. Yes, I'm talking about you too, Colton and Tyler. However, when middle school hit, we split our ways and I was introduced to STEM. I remember the first day I was at STEM, often I was thinking, why the heck am I not at a normal middle school right now, hanging with the friends I already have? Well, it wasn't until high school where I realized that I was fortunate to have this new chapter in my life, this new introduction to my journey. This chapter, the chapter that is soon concluding, has taught me so many things about the game of life. I've learned a lot of academic knowledge, don't get me wrong, but it was the experiences at STEM that truly made me the person I am today. Through the all-nighters the night before TSA, the many labs I had to complete, and those well-procrastinated independent reading projects. I just gotta give some credit to Dr. Letty here. Thank you for those extensions. <laughs> Honestly, I finally figured out my place at STEM. During my six years at STEM, I've met so many amazing people. I've developed many valued friendships and I've gained an insight through my mentors. Yet, at the same time, I've lost friendships. I've gotten into fights with people significant to my life. I failed to communicate with those around me, and I've been selfish about my time compared to others. All of these experiences, though, have given me something that I am great, really grateful for, and it's wisdom. It has made me less entitled, and instead more humble to those around me. While I'm still needing lots of improvement, I am glad to say that I've gone to great heights since my beginning. Now that I'm at the end of this chapter, when embarking on this new journey, the one thing I will really take with me from STEM is to be kind. The effort it takes to judge and ridicule is not worth the effort it takes to show a little compassion towards one another. We're all in this together. I hope each one of you will take a little something from this with you as you turn the corner and venture down your new road. Now, as we look towards our future ambitions, whether that's going to college, a trade school, going into the military, Carlos, I'm calling you out there, 
taking a gap year, or taking a break until whenever. Just know that you've successfully reached a milestone in your life and you should be proud. With all of the friends I've made and all of the connections I've made, I'm sad that this chapter is coming to an end. However, we all have a new chapter beginning and seeing how it goes in the next chapter of our lives, that'll be the true testimony to our STEM education, no matter how many years you've been here and the great lengths that it has brought us to who we've become today. I'm fortunate that I was able to create this amazing network of people, and I hope you all have also discovered your place at STEM. Thank you. Oh, there, there goes my U for USC, all right. But thank you. So if we could, like, not the final time, but this is probably the second to final time. Can we congratulate the class of 2021? Now students, please stand. Students, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, left side, representing your completion of your secondary education. Ladies and gentlemen, for a final time, I present to you the STEM School Highlands Ranch Class of 2021. Congratulations. Perfect. For parents, you have to exit through the upper parking lot behind you. As for students, Wherever you parked, that's where you're headed, but mainly the lower parking lot for students if you park there. Thank you again for coming to this graduation. Always somebody would have told me.